Situation clears here at Ibrox, much to the relief of manager Walter Smith, who's had to juggle his lineup through a series of difficult fixtures. And one man he's delighted to see back in action this afternoon is his captain Richard Goff, who returns after missing six matches, which saw Rangers topple out of the European Cup, Skull Cup, and lose here to Aberdeen. Goff has been cleared to play by a specialist after an illness affecting his blood count. And back after missing the last four games because of a shoulder injury is Mark Haitley, who was signed last year from AS Monaco for £1 million. He scored five times this season, but had failed to find the net in the seven games before injury struck. Hearts manager Joe Jordan had to await fitness tests on striker Ian Baird and midfielder Derek Ferguson, but his side is along usual lines and hopes to continue form that has seen them lose just one league match so far this season, that was to Celtic at Parkhead. One of the mainstays in the team has been John Miller, who's played in every game to date since being snapped up in a free transfer from Blackburn Rovers during the summer. His contribution on the left side of midfield has been excellent, and he's also managed a couple of goals. Another man to help the Hearts charge this season has been Ian Baird, who was also signed during the summer. He cost £350,000 from Middlesbrough and has managed four goals so far. The referee is Mr Derek Miller from Garrow Hill. So the 50th Premier League match between these clubs gets underway. Rangers have won 27, Hearts 12 and 10 have been drawn. Hearts going right into attack. Challenged by Richard Goff, Rich to Mackay. Oh, a tremendous shot! by Gary Mackay into the side netting. Well, what a start by Hearts. Richard Goff trying to clear the ball that broke there to Gary Mackay and his shot into the side netting with Andy Gorham diving across his goal. David Robertson for Rangers to Goff. Long one forward for Haitley. He gets the touch. Tanker comes down, the referee, allowing play to go on, the ball driven behind by Morrow. The referee waving away the penalty claims by Rangers as Mikhail Ichenko crashed to the ground. The ball eventually breaking to Morrow. The referee awarding the kick to Hearts. Okay, following through again. The challenge though by Spackman. The Bruins awarded to Hearts. Okay, clipping it forward. Eric Ferguson through to John Robertson. Still Robertson. Well, Nisbet failed to cut out the ball at the last moment, and uh, David Robertson doing just enough to put off the heart striker. You see Nisbet just missing the tackle, and then the foot of David Robertson doing enough to get the ball back to Gorham. It's Mikhail Chenko with Haitley and McCoy racing through the middle. Robertson coming in support. Haitley forward. Looking for McCoyst. Well, there's some good defensive work there by Derek Ferguson against his old side. Here come Rangers again. It's Mikhail Achenko. Great ball to Ali McCoyst. Oh, a terrific save by Henry Smith, and it's swept behind by Touch McKinley. Well, good play by Rangers. Excellent goalkeeping by Henry Smith. A terrific ball there from Alexei Mikhail Achenko into the path of Ali McCoyst. Looked certain he would score. And then Henry Smith bringing off that save. McCall's cross, but straight into the hands of Henry Smith. McCall to Stevens. Again, looking for Haitley! Well, Henry Smith does it again. What a tremendous season this man's having. He's had eight shutouts in 15 games. 
an unbelievable save from Haithley, point blank header, high into the air, and then Ali McCoy's driving the ball right across the face of the goal. That's Goff. Nisbet to McCoyst. Well, he gives it away. And it's due to return to Rangers. The free kick there against Tosh McKinley for the challenge on Stuart McCall. The referee wants a work with the Hearts fullback. And the referee going over to have a word with the player, taking McCall from behind there. So what a word of warning for Tosh McKinley. Kailachenko with the free kick. Well, Baird setting it up there almost into the path of Haitley. Well, forwards can be a bit of a menace in their own penalty area. And this almost rebounded on Hart. The ball coming off Baird. And it was Levine keeping a cool head. Nisbet, another long ball. Nigel Speckman's there, play by Speckman. Mikhail Chenko! Well, he gets applause from the crowd, he should have done better. He's still searching for that elusive first goal. But a lovely touch by Mikhail Chenko, opening up the gap. It was Speckman originally battling away, winning the ball from Derek Ferguson. And just look at that, the way he controls the ball, steps away from Alan McLaren, but puts it wide. <laughs> well, a lunging challenge there by John Miller on Scott Nisbet. The referee allowing play to go on. But he really is going to have to step in and take some action here because the challenges are getting heftier by the moment. taken out of the play by McCall. The referee wants a work with the Rangers player. I've got to say Miller's quite fortunate not to have been spoken to for that previous incident. A word of warning there from the referee for McCall. The Rangers line up the defensive wall. Got him, poised, John Robertson starts his run at the ball, he strikes it well! <laughs> Terrific save by Andy Gorham. Well, that'll do his confidence no harm at all. He's had a tough time recently, the Rangers keeper. Guy okay, Mackay just failing to keep the ball in place, the Rangers have the throw-in. Italy being closely watched by Levine. It's McCoy, lovely touch by McCoy to McCoy. He's trying to find the opening. Pursued all the way by Miller. Here's a chance for Morrow. And good, brave goalkeeping by Henry Smith. Well, what a chance there for the youngster. It was great play by McCall, but also excellent play by Miller, who chased him all the way across the penalty area. Lovely little touch there by McCall. And Henry Smith, brave goalkeeping, diving at the feet of Morrow. Well cut out by Nisbet. And the free kick against Scott Crabb for his challenge on Nigel Spackman. Well, Temper's getting a little frayed out there. But neither side will want to lose a goal at this stage, just before half-time. After what's been a very combative first half. Referee having a word with the Hearts player, he's possibly a bit frustrated because uh, he's been very quickly shut down throughout this first half. There's not been a lot of space for the strikers. Now you can see the challenge being made. But now it's Rangers coming forward. Gary Stevens and the ball into the back of the net. Ali McCoy there, charging in with Gary Stevens providing the cross. Well, what a time to score a goal! Just seconds left to the interval. Alan McCoy's 
taking the salute of the crowd. It was Gary Stevens galloping forward. He did well to get to the byline. He cut the ball into the path of McCoy's to, under a challenge from Craig Levine, sent it high into the back of the net. McCoy's tenth goal of the season. Rangers won Hearts nil. the half-time whistle. Well, Ali McCoy takes the salute of the fans. And they're delighted to see their team ahead after what's been a very tough first half. Henry Smith was having a terrific game for Hearts. The great save from McCoy early on spreading himself and blocking the ball. He shakes his head, he can't believe it. And Scoreline here at Ibrook Stadium, Rangers 1, Hearts 0. Crowd settling down again as the second half gets underway. A crowd of around 36,000 here this afternoon, and that takes the total attendances here at Ibrook this season to more than 300,000 in nine matches. Quite remarkable. for Hearts. Paul holds off the challenge. Belichenko with a slight pass. A call now to Hitley. Mikhailichenko, he must score! Again, it's Henry Smith to Hearts' rescue. Well, still chasing that first goal. Again, creating space for himself. But Henry Smith stepping in again. Meanwhile, John Miller has been booked by the referee. And spoken to earlier. So Gary Stevens with the throw. McCall trying the shot. Well, claims for a penalty, but the referee rightly waving play on. The ball struck the chest of Miller. Here come Rangers again. It's Ali McCoy. Hitley leaving it. McKayley Chenko! Look at the delight on his face. He's congratulated by McCoy and Hitley. Ibrox rises to the Ukrainian player. A lovely dummy there by Hitley. And there was Alexei Mikhailichenko to drill the ball into the back of the net. Rangers 2, Hearts 0. Robertson again, surrounded by Rangers players, does well, gets it to Gary Mackay. Nigel Speckman emerging with the ball. the throw-in. Hitley making a bold challenge to keep the ball in play. McPherson headed away by Nisbet. for his challenge on Tosh McKinley. Well, Hitley holding off one challenge then falling right through on the Hearts fullback. Combining well, taking on McPherson, getting in the cross. That's a good defensive header by Tosh McKinley under pressure there from Billy McCoy. Excellent play down the left by Rangers with McCall very much involved. There was Tosh McKinley heading behind. 
Markov getting the touch for Rangers, returned by Levine. Robertson quickly touched. Close down there, but a nice little touch to Ferguson, but it's Mikhailichenko. Neatly challenged by Levine, who follows through in Mikhailichenko. The referee falling over the part centre back. A little bit of rash play by Craig Levine. Will earn him a booking. The referee's been very patient this afternoon. So the yellow card is shown. McLaren stepping in ahead of McCoyst to concede the throw in. Rangers leading by two goals to nil. McCoy's does well. Mikhailichenko. Well, almost catching Henry Smith. He delights in that type of play. He's tried in recent weeks to lob the goalkeepers from even his own half of the field, and there he was trying to chip it over Smith. Well, that goal will have given him a lot of confidence. And played by Ali McCoy, Hitley's in there. Good brave play by Mark Hitley. He was shattered all the way by Craig Levine. Excellent cross by Ali McCoy, who taken on the defender. And using his pace, getting away from Mackay, Hitley's in there again, so does Mikhailichenko. The ball dipping over the crossbar. Again, Mikhailichenko looking so dangerous, Hitley launching himself at the ball. So Scott Crabb has gone off, and Steve Penny comes into the fray. Well, he's played a few first-team games this season. Well, Archie Knox and Davy Dodds there in the Rangers dugout. They must be quite happy with what's happened so far. Peter Houser again warming up in the foreground. Off, clipping it forward. David Robertson. Hitley's in there with the header. It's off the crossbar and it's off the line by McLaren. Well, Hitley denied again, this time by the crossbar. And Ellen McLaren did extremely well to hook the ball away. Hitley's been unlucky this afternoon, denied by a great save from Henry Smith in the first half. <laughs> Robertson racing forward again, another good cross, Morrow's in there! Tremendous bounce there, right over the crossbar. 
Oh, what a chance for the youngster to score in his home debut. Superb cross again by Robertson, who's finding more and more space. The downward header beating Smith, but going over the crossbar. Three kick against Derek Ferguson for that challenge on Nigel Spackling. The referee is going to book the Hawks player. Backman clearly fouled by the Hearts player. Spackman, a good ball through tomorrow. Down it goes, a penalty kick. The referee immediately pointing to the spot. Well, there was no doubt about that when it was a terrific through ball from Spackman. Tosh McKinley taking down the young Rangers winger. And he's booked. So Ali McCoyst will take the kick. He's looking for goal number 11 of the season, his second of the afternoon. Well, Smith does it again. What a match this man's had. Well, Hutz certainly can't blame him for what's happened this afternoon. He really has been terrific. McCoy's driving the ball at him. Penny digging in. Now it's Robertson. Got down by Goff. So a second free kick against Richard Goff. Perhaps a bit fortunate to escape a yellow card. The referee's booked four Hearts players. Ferguson's free kick. McPherson's up there. It's punched away by Gorham. John Miller, well, not a bad effort, but again, confident handling by Andy Gorham. So we're inside the final minute of the match. There goes the final whistle. So Rangers go back to the top of the Premier Division. Ali McCoy scoring a vital goal for them just before half-time, sweeping the ball into the net after the cross had been provided by Gary Stevens. And then Alexei Mikhailichenko just disappearing into the tunnel, scoring his first goal for Rangers after a delightful dummy by Mark Haitley, driving the ball into the back of the net. The final score here at Ibrook Stadium, Rangers 2, Hearts 0. You've had to do without quite a number of your top players, have you not? Um, we have Richard Goff. I, I felt that defensively, we miss him, he holds them together, and he's got a good influence and a common influence on our, our back players and uh, I think today we had a clean sheet for the first time for uh, a number of weeks and I think it's uh, due to him coming back. Mark Haitley as well, we miss uh, he's been playing very well this season, he uh, started uh, turned in some terrific performances and only injuries of maybe had over the last four or five weeks or so have made it that he's struggled onto the pitch at times when he shouldn't have um, I would hope that that's him over them now and uh, we can get back to seeing the best of him and That's your first 90 minutes in a while how do you feel after it? Great, fine, no problems at all um, I was a wee bit worried before the game but uh, no, it was fine And what's the, the medical advice to you? Medical advice is just to that the hepatitis A will eventually go out my system and I will get tired at times but uh, it's just up to myself how I feel um, but I felt good today and I, I'm hope I, feel I'm, I hope I'm feeling that good next Saturday. It's been a season of ups and downs already, but you get the impression a few more twists and turns still to come. Well, if the rest of the season's like uh, the last four or five weeks, then uh, uh, I'm sure there will be. Uh, already we've had uh, crises at uh, Aberdeen, Celtic and the Rangers, and uh, we've all come through them <laughs> to a degree. So hopefully uh, we can all settle down. I think uh, supporters are in for a very interesting season.